Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to go over uh, what we use to take our pictures, how we take our pictures, the uh, backdrop or the background that we use. Uh, it's pretty simple. It really is. It's not that hard. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of an investment on your side if you don't already have the camera equipment uh, to take some good pictures. Hell, your phone's probably going to take good pictures too, but uh, this camera tends to take the best pictures for us. Uh, I can't seem to work a camera on a cell phone worth shit to get it to do anything I want it to do. So, but <laughs> this uh, camera will um, do really good for you. It is an older camera, but uh, it's still kicking, still doing what I need it to do. So, let's get in the video. All right, so this is the uh, Canon Rebel. It's a Canon Rebel T3i, and like I said, it's the it's an older version. But I mean, heck, it's still working, still doing its thing. And still working for us so inside of this camera bag is the main camera and yeah it looks a little beefy don't it it's got this shorter uh lens on it uh this is for more of close-up shooting like i do it also comes with this longer lens for um maybe like if you're in a big room or outdoors you can take uh, photos from afar i don't ever use this thing so it just lives in my camera bag. Actually, I may even be willing to sell it if anybody needs it. What is this? It's a 55 to 250 millimeter. I mean, I've had this camera for years and I've only used that like one time. But here's the camera and you'll notice something with these stock flashes on these cameras. By the way, this piece right here is the camera, or not the camera, but the flash. So the flash that comes on these cameras, I mean, it's decent. It'll do its job right and it, it'll light up what you need it to. But I found that there is a better way and it costs more money, of course. So what we use is what's called an external, external flash. And this is the Speedlight 270EX2. Uh, they have a bigger version of this that sits up higher on the camera, but what I, and by the way, to connect it, there's this um, metal plate here and there's these metal rails here. So you, all you do is you slide it in one-handed, boom, just like that. And there's a little, I know it's hard to see because it's black, but there's a way to lock it onto the camera so it don't fall off while you're you know holding the camera. So they have another one of these, but it sits up higher and maybe out a little bit longer. I can't remember, but what I found that is uh, it doesn't put light on the snake like I need it to to take the picture. So this has worked a, a hell of a lot better. It was cheaper also than the other flash. So, but this works good. Uh, now I will show you the backdrop and the setup we use. Pretty simple. Now, before we get into the backdrop and the setup, uh, I do want to say that we did try taking pictures with a white background at one time. Uh, to me, the white was, you know, it, in my mind, I thought, hey, it's going to look more professional. Uh, it's, it's just going to look, you know, more professional. It's going to look better. Uh, it's going to represent the animal better. And what I found out is I really don't like the white. I really don't. Um, I really just prefer to take the picture on their natural bedding that they're on in their in the racks. I say natural, the bedding they're on in the racks. Um, it just seems to make the animals' colors pop more, and and you'll see that because I will be updating Morph Market soon uh, with pretty much a complete available list. I know a lot of y'all been asking, and I've been so busy. I just and well, I've been busy and I've been lazy. I'll be honest, I have been lazy. Uh, trying to recover uh, from having a whole week off of work. <laughs> you kind of get lazy. Uh, so I'm working on that list. I will get the pictures uploaded on Morph Market, all the information, all that good stuff uh, sometime in the next couple days after you see this video. Uh, hell, it may even be up by the time you see this video. That's the backdrop right there. All it is is a 54, a clean 5040 uh, tub that we put fresh bedding in. And what I actually will tend to do is I'll actually spray this bedding down with water and then I'll mix it all around. That way the bedding, a wet bedding, believe it or not, uh, it just 
to me, it just makes the snake look better than being on dry, uh, dried out retro chip. So I wet the bedding down just to give it a little bit of moisture content and I'll place the animal, you know, right here in the middle. And usually I have to come to the side like this and get up on, I actually stand up on this stool and I will, excuse dirty floor, feeding day to day, I still got a vacuum. But I'll actually get up here and get right over the snake, right above them. So when you take the picture and the flash shoots that light down, it hits all the way around him and lights that snake up evenly. Now, if you get down here and you, and you hit it and you take a picture, the flash is gonna hit off this wall. It's gonna hit the snake. You're gonna get dark spots up here. Sometimes you get dark spots around it and it just doesn't represent the animal as well. Now, I'm not saying that it's easy to take pictures uh, because sometimes you either got to fight the animal trying to get away from you or if you're picky like me, you will sit here and take 20 pictures up here until you get the correct one. But I mean, it's simple setup. I can't teach you settings or anything on the camera. Uh, it's basically something you're just going to have to do research on and play around with because my lighting sucks in here. So what I do is gonna be different from what you had to do on exposure and uh, you know shutter speed, all that good stuff. I don't know all the lingo, I just point and shoot. <laughs> so that's that's it. I mean, that's super basic setup. You just need the, the camera. You really don't need a external flash, but I'm telling you right now, it's gonna make pictures look a lot better. And I'll go ahead and post a picture of uh, a banana clown I took a picture of right up here in the corner. As you can see, uh, that is a picture that we took on this setup uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it just looks good. I just like it. I like it way better than on, on uh, a white background. We were actually using, hold on. We were using this foam board from Office Depot. It's just cheap foam board, but what I've seen, you'll, you'll, you're kind of seeing it on the camera right now. You see how dark my hand is sometimes. It jacks with the, the exposure on the camera for me. I'll take a picture of the flash just jacks with it, makes the picture darker. On that Ratchy chip, it just, man, the colors just pop. They just really do. So I got away from the white. I didn't like it. Uh, I tried it. You know, don't be afraid to try things in life. Uh, I mean, unless they're going to hurt you, right? Um, get those life experiences and, you know, you never know till you try. And, and I tried it and I don't like it. So <laughs> back to the Repti Chip we go. Um, but thank you. Thank y'all for watching the video. If you're new here and I know about 70% of y'all that are watching this right now are not subscribed. So please subscribe uh, if you want to, of course. Uh, also leave me a thumbs up and tell me in the comments what you think. Um, tell me what y'all do for your setup. Heck, maybe y'all got a better way uh, that'll work for me and uh, I can start doing that. So let me know in the comments what y'all do. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up. Please do not hesitate to hit me up. I will get around to you as soon as I can, but I promise I will try to answer you and try to give you uh, the correct answer to your question. If not, I'll figure it out or uh, point you in a direction that, you know, you can get your answer. <laughs> but uh, that's it. I will catch y'all hopefully next week. I know I skipped a week. Wasn't trying to bring it up, but I skipped a week. First week in, I don't know how long, but I'll catch y'all next week. And until then, everybody take care, have a good season and uh, watch out for each other.